relinquish every step for a life well spent on this earth we're lent will be marked by the void you have left may you conquer the curse challenges may you hold back the dark like a dam may you lead your life with the lion's roar may you lead it like a lamb don't await rewards for your good deeds a reward won't make them good don't await judgment of any foes they'll receive just what they should when you find the axis of this world don't tread too far inside run away as far as you think you can be well and enjoy the ride. So my dad gave me his old knicker mat. I mean it pulls you down But it kinda keeps you up And I don't know where I got this notion It's like fossilized fear It's like prehistoric luggage Saying I'm still here I'm still here, I got this fear of fall that I'm trying to overcome That's why I'm here, at the edge of the top of this dirty slum You and I both know I never jump Who am I trying to kid? And I just imagine the sensation If I ever did She said to popular belief There's another side of me And it isn't nearly this weak And I thought my faith would show itself And that for once I could be sure 
that there's no such thing as an atheist on the 32nd floor. The 32nd floor, I got this fear of falling that I'm trying to overcome. That's why I'm here at the edge of the top of this dirty slum. You and I both know I never jump. Who am I trying to kill? But just imagine the sensation If I ever did If I ever did It's like fossilized fear It's like prehistoric egg luggage Saying I'm still here I'm still here I got this fear of falling That I'm trying to overcome That's why I'm here At the edge of the top of this dirty slum you and I both know I never jump. Who am I trying to kill? But just imagine the sensation. I got this fear of falling. Fear of falling. Fear of You think you'll find some mountains in western Colorado. Fifty weeks of snowy peaks is where you're gonna be. Not yet. <laughs> now you may go. But babe, the Rocky Mountains are gradually eroding. Excellent. The hills, of course, are nothing more than Blue Ridge wannabes. When you're talking on You mean the old Dominion, Dominion. You're talking Just southeast of heaven to the surf and the hills She's the best, best of 13 sisters and 37 more Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door A turkey on its belly, a chicken on its back. Any way you look at it, you'll find her on the map. She revels in the season, shakes in with the north. Hugs the land of Dixie while dancing on the porch. You think that autumns in New England are the greatest of them all. But give me sweet Virginia for the fireworks of fall. The prettiest October in all the 50 states. Just drive up to the skyline, park the car and wait. So grow up Colorado, excuse me Tennessee, if you don't mind North Carolina, here's where I want to be. be, be when you're talking home, you mean the old dominion, to southeast of heaven, to the surf and the hills, she's the best of 13 sisters and 37 more, sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door. They're fiddling down at Galax and picking up in Floyd. 
And in the land of Patsy Find there's songs you can't avoid When you're walking after midnight I fall to pieces too I'm crazy back in baby's arms With sweet dreams of you They're sailing down to Norfolk And skiing up in Bryce Climbing up the devil's stairs Against ranger's advice They're harvesting and louding To Shenandoah winds And in the land near Washington They're rooting for the skins Fight for old D.C. So grow up Colorado Excuse me Tennessee If you don't mind North Carolina Here's where I wanna be When you're talking home, you mean the old dominion To the southeast of heaven, to the surf and the hills She's the best of 13 sisters and 37 more Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door Pack up your Impala And make your move out west Past the Blue Ridge Mountains She'll find you past the best your dreams have ended when mountains are concerned. Me and sweet Virginia will wait for your return. When you're talking home, you mean the old dominion. To southeast of heaven, to the surf and the hills. Best of 13 sisters and 37 more. Sweet, sweet Virginia always keeps an open door. Talking on you mean the old dominion talking to southeast of heaven to the surf and the hills she is the best of 13 sisters and 37 more sweet sweet virginia always keeps an open door sweet sweet virginia always keeps an open door sweet sweet virginia always keeps an open door sweet sweet virginia Always keeps an open door. Hello, Arlandria. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Birchmere for round two. Round two. I, Round two. I hate to sound like I'm kissing up, but there is something special about the Saturday night on these weekends because Friday we're too nervous, Sunday we're too burned out. Oh. And if this were Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you guys would be the troll under the bridge. That's <laughs> well, something like that. So as, you, uh, as, as many of you probably know, but maybe all of you don't, that uh, uh, to celebrate, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary this weekend. And and, uh, in part to celebrate that, we, uh, we are offering these shows as all request shows. Not right now. <laughs> they already came in. Yes, we, uh, we, had, we had people uh, calling in requests, or I mean, uh, writing in requests. And so uh, some really interesting things happened. Uh, there were songs on there that uh, we wrote. <laughs> so that was a good start. And, um, and some of them we remembered. Uh, and uh, it's actually been a lot of fun over the, over the last month or so rehearsing a lot of these older songs we haven't done for years and, uh, and being able to uh, bring them to you this weekend. So we're really excited and uh, uh, so if you don't like the set list, it's your fault. <laughs> First it happened slowly, then quickly came Unveiled as madness, disguised as something sane You never saw it happen, she never meant it to He wrapped her up in his life, she stuck to it like glue Round and round they spin, weaving in the night Tapestry will envelop them now Fight the good 
fine One heart cannot hold all of this One man's grace is another man's hell Two souls can melt together till one can no longer find itself They kept up appearances for family and friends And he coveted her soul, she put up a no defense We all began to notice some mistakable signs They were never in the same room at the, at the same time But in the hiding of their bedroom One hybrid voice was heard Two would shed their clothing one body would emerge one heart cannot hold all of this one man's grace is another man's hell two souls can melt together till one can no longer find itself That means I have trouble when you go And I'm that kind of woman The world's biggest junkie That means I have trouble saying no So send me a song on the sweet wings of sorrow Hold me and I will cry nevermore Cause I'm here today and I'll be here tomorrow Fly me away Fly me away from Baltimore I'm an Irish woman 
I love weddings and funerals, beginnings and endings, the front and the back, and how you always loved my deep sense of hope. Now I've gallons of hope. It's sense that I lack. So send me a song on the sweet winds of sorrow. Hold me and I will cry never more. Cause I'm here today and I'll be here tomorrow. Fly me. From Baltimore Whiskey in my class, and I've been here a lifetime. Case in the joint, and I'm that kind of woman who cries in her whiskey. If you can't cry when you're Irish, then what's the point? And I'll send you a song on the sweet wings of sorrow. Hold you and I will cry never more. Cause I'm here today, but I'll be gone tomorrow. Flying away. Flying away from Baltimore. Jake Armerding, fiddle extraordinaire, Patriots fan. Oh, come on now. That's right, it's very How hard. How quickly they turn. I know. It's very hard backstage because Jake's been having the Patriots game on. Well, let's just say that I'm not a big Patriots fan. I would really like it if they would just lose tonight. <laughs> But it doesn't yeah, look like no, that's going to happen. We're rooting for the past. You know, Jake, you probably need to thank us because they've been winning ever since you started playing with us here every postseason. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have. Yeah. Two you should see the effort it takes to get Jake on stage every Saturday night here because in inevitably the Patriots are playing. And, well, yes. yes. And, he's a diehard. Uh, and uh, anyway. Even though I don't really like the Patriots and Jake's a big fan, I do want to um, send this next song out to Jake. Um, it was requested, don't get me wrong. It wasn't from Jake. Other people did request Although it. Although Jake requested it as Jake well. Jake did request it too, but other people requested it before Jake requested it. So My vote counted more than yours. Thank you. <laughs> Typical Patriots fan. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but I know. I know, Mike. I'm, I'm, right. I'm getting I'm there. your fact checker. Usually, Everyone hates a winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He has this way of endearing, in, endearing himself, doesn't he? I think you should redirect this dedication to someone more worthy, Julie. <laughs> I know. Normally, normally yeah, I would... Yeah, Jake's falling a little flat. Yeah. Normally, I would send this uh, song out to my son or both my sons um, because I wrote this song for my son, Liam. And um, normally, my family's here on Saturday night, my husband and my kids. And I just realized for the last few years, actually, went since um, they both play hockey. And there's always a hockey tournament or on Martin Luther King weekend, somewhere that they're traveling to. And this weekend is no different, but I am pretty excited for them because they're up in Lake Placid. So they're getting to skate on that Olympic ice where that 1980s team kicked the Russians' butt. And uh, yeah, so 
But anyway, back to Jake. Jake is a new daddy. Sorry, yeah, you can send it to them too. No, no, Jake is a new daddy. He has a three-month-old son at home. <clears throat> yes. And his mother-in-law is a big Vikings fan. Not only does he have he, ha, uh, he not only does he have a, a three month old son whose name is Jude, um, uh, he's also now in need of uh, uh, beginning to save money for Jude's college uh, education because uh, I think you're a little behind the curve on that. He's three months old Absolutely. already. Absolutely, everyone's reminding me. Yeah. And uh, to that end, uh, we'd also like to point out that Jake has a brand new CD out as well, which is here tonight. And um, so if if you like children, <laughs> we would encourage you to buy one. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, we thought we'd point that out. Hey, little man. Little man hey, little man. Hey, little man. What, what you gonna, gonna dream, dream about tonight? tonight? Hey, little man. Hey, little man. What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Oh yeah. Are you gonna dream about the one who came upon two roads, two roads diverged in a yellow wood? He couldn't travel both, so he had to make a choice, and he chose the one less traveled by. Hey little man. Hey little man. What you gonna dream about tonight? Hey, little man. Hey, little man. What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Oh, yeah. Are you gonna dream about the son who found his way back home? For so many years he'd been away. He thought about his family and how he loved them so. Promised him that he was back to stay. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. What you gonna dream about tonight? Hey, little man. Hey, little man. What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Are you gonna dream about the colors of the rainbow? Colors of the rainbow. And the pot of gold that's waiting at the end. May luck be by your side, and the spirit be your guide. And may you know the blessing, may you know. and may you know the joy, and may you know the love of a true friend. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. What you gonna dream about tonight? Hey, little man, hey, little man, what you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about? What you gonna dream? What you gonna dream about tonight? Whoa. Imagine me a spark to spark your imagination. Park it out of your center, lock it with your china. Imagine me a flame, a flame in your cathedral, the name of your secret breathing in your. Steel, would you take me in and put me in your pocket and your hand? I'm the music and the feeling 
and the reeling in your head. I'm hopeful and empty. Words you never said, imagine me. Imagine me. Imagine me. Imagine. Imagine me so small To fit within your laughter Sit beneath your sorrow Waiting with your china Imagine me a fire A fire in your footsteps A liar on your lips Desire in your Bones. Imagine me a spark, a spark to light your flame, the flame that lights your fire, the fire that keeps you oh. I wouldn't steal, would you take me in and put me in your pocket and your head? I'm the music and the feeling and the reeling. So uh, a dear friend of ours is uh, in the house tonight. Uh, Congressman Don Beyer is here, and he's, um, he's... Yeah, he's our friend. Uh, and I believe he uh, brought 752 people with him, uh, from what we've heard. They're not people, they're constituents. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we were we were um, uh, Eddie and Mike and I were, were doing a, a like a we were on a radio show a podcast on Friday yesterday and, and uh, they were asking us things about you know our, our career and, and some of our more memorable shows and one of them certainly was uh, a few years ago uh, uh, Congressman Beyer was then Ambassador Beyer and he was the ambassador to Switzerland the U.S. ambassador and and we actually got to go to Switzerland and not only play uh, the Montreux Jazz Festival. Um, you didn't know we could play jazz, did you? If it's out of tune, it's well, jazz. That's right. <laughs> and we can do that really well. Um, we got to play there, but we also, uh, really a moving, a moving thing for us was, was to uh, actually play at the Ambassador's residence for a big outdoor party on the 4th of July uh, there, and that was really a, a wonderful thing Or as they us. call it in Switzerland, Wednesday. <laughs> that's true. It was a little different. <laughs> and uh, for me, I actually, I, when I was growing up, I lived in Switzerland for a few years. And, uh, and I, I, I knew, I lived in Geneva, and I knew Montreux, and I, and I was, so to actually play there at this festival, and if you're not familiar, it's really one of the more prestigious festivals in the world. You don't really spend time dreaming. You might dream of like Carnegie Hall, but not the Montreux Jazz Festival. It's just not done. And, um, and to be standing there on that stage and looking out at the lake and, and playing to nobody was really... <laughs> not a constituent to be found. <laughs> they were all watching Prince, the stage over. <laughs> That's true. Um, 
No, well, you know, well, the reason there was nobody, and there was only nobody at the beginning, and I don't mean, like, nobody. I mean, you know, the buyers were there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. you have any friends? Um, <laughs> no, just constituents. Um, no. Um, and, uh, uh, no, there were, there were a handful of people there, but, you know, we'd never played in Europe before, and... Um, People really didn't know us, except for one guy who announced that he had come all the way from Paris to see us. Uh, didn't speak any English, really. You know, just spoke to us in French. Stood right at the, the lip of the stage there and mouthed every lyric to every song. <laughs> right. And we just thought, get a life, dude. That's really... Um, and, uh, but so we're playing, and, and, and it was actually a wonderful experience. Because like I said, there weren't a lot of people to begin with. But as we're playing, and we haven't had this experience in the U.S. for a long time, we're... We were really completely unknown, and people were gathering, and they were gathering, and they were gathering, and, and the set's kind of building up to uh, a climactic point, and, and there's, I don't know how many, maybe, you know, five, six hundred people there now, and, and it's, it's just getting bigger, and people are really getting into it, and... Um, maybe 200. 200, yeah. really? <laughs> five, six. Oh, they were like, you know, so 7,000 people, and they were... Um, <laughs> And it was, it, was, uh, it was really getting great. And then we, we played this next song, which I'm gonna play, we're going to play for you, which uh, we finished it, and it was, kind of, it was just that tipping point where the crowd went absolutely nuts after this song. We thought, we, we got them, you know? I mean, it was, really, it was really a fabulous moment. And then, and then I realized what song we had just played. This is called Stupid American. You got exactly 60 seconds to tell me what you meant by that. One short minute to apologize. You got exactly 60 seconds to tell me what you meant by that. I hear the murder rate is on the rise. I'm in love And I do not speak the language I'm in love But I don't understand I'm in love And I do not speak the language But I try to speak the language Of this foreign land Here I am Stupid American Here I am Here I am A baguette doesn't come with a bag. You got exactly 60 seconds to take back that stupid question. It's all the baguette. Don't you get it? Get it? I'm in love. And I do not speak the language I'm in love. But I don't understand I'm in love. And I do not speak the language, but I try to speak the language. And it comes out sounding alike. Here I am. Stupid American, here I am. Here I am. Stupid American, here I am. His heart is Italy. His kiss is Paris. His body is Brazilian. And my heart is, my heart is. Love me like a spy. I've seen those foreign films. Do it, do it now. I'm in love with a man who says, Tell me, I'm in love. He calls me my petite shoo shoo. I'm in love. And I try to speak the language, but I can't understand a single word he's saying. Here I am.
Moving things right along, yet another request from someone who's obviously a fan of our one and only attempt at a ska song. This is called Eddie's Concubine. Eddie is a nightclub owner, owns the northern half of the town. He can't see his toes past his belly whenever he looks down. But underneath his belly is a turquoise belt. Drives the woman wild, ah. makes me melt. Uh, Eddie, 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 you're looking fly. Eddie is my secret lover. On the western half of the town. We wind it down at Howard Johnson's when the club shuts down. But underneath his hairpiece is a clever mind. He balances his wife in a country bun. Eddie, 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 I wish you were mine. But oh, it's not fair. in the wash, she's such a cat. Eddie, 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 I wish you were fine. Eddie makes a pretty good living, stealing from the college beds. Eddie pulls and rolls with the Skinner groups, but only serves a beer in cans. But underneath his belt is a bribe for the cops. He'll only hire girls if they take off their tops. Eddie, 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 your wife's on the side. Let's hear you, Saturday night crowd, loud and proud now. Eddie! 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 Eddie says to lose some weight. Oh. Eddie! 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 Then I'll set a wedding date. Eddie! Eddie! Eddie wrote a promissory note. Eddie! Eddie! Eddie said he'd buy me a boat. There's a boat that's nothing fun on board for me, the first mate. Cheated and ignored, it's me, I'm Eddie's concubine And Jenny Craig is such a chore to rid myself of this waistline But I'm his concubine Eddie is a nightclub owner, a man who runs a double life He, runs a double life. he says that when he sells his business, he promises he'll leave his wife but I think this from series later than sooner. He just bought his wife a 32 foot schooner. Edit, edit, edit. That should have been mine. Eddie is a big fat liar. Oh, yeah. Lying like a bearskin rug. Eddie took his money to retire. Oh, no. I only got a ziggy mug. And underneath my jacket is a loaded gun. I think I'll just point and watch the piggy run. Edit, edit, edit. Spare me your life. Chevy 4x4 four four and I can tow a boat just fine Driving east toward the shore I'll chase the Mason-Dixon line I'm no loser, I'm no whore I'm through being his concubine I'm not his concubine She's not his concubine I'm not his concubine She's not his concubine I'm not his concubine She's not his concubine, not his concubine. I'm not his concubine
going to give you a song with fewer words now. That could be almost anything. Maybe even an instrumental. I do want to take this time to, uh, not to take the fun out of the evening, but um, I do want to talk a little bit about our history uh, in our 25 years. Realize that last year, uh, I mean, last night, has it been that long? Yes, last night, uh, in our 25 years, 24 have been spent with the Birchmere. We got in the door down the road in 92. And we've been trumpeting ourselves as this independent band, never been with a major label, never been asked, but never, <laughs> never went that route. And feeling kind of proud about that. But let me tell you, we didn't do it by ourselves. We had an awful lot of help along the way. And in particular, in those early days in the Birchmere, a gentleman by the name of Billy Wolf took us under his arm and he produced eight of our nine albums. <laughs> yep. We would, not, we would not be where we are today without Billy, and we love him dearly. Um, and uh, you think we might have put him on the guest list tonight? No, we didn't. <laughs> Who was supposed to do that? Someone call Billy. Send him, send him some Russell's candy, somebody. <laughs> the Oscars are upon us, and for the 25th year in a row, Eddie from Ohio has not been nominated for anything. <laughs> but in the ceremony, there's usually a period, somewhere about three-quarters of the show, of in memoriam, all the people we've lost this year. It's just kind of, kind of sad, but cheerful when he brings back memories of people you're, you can miss. I would like to acknowledge some folks that have helped us along the way that are no longer with us today. There's just a handful. Um, not a household name even with our group, but a guy named Rick Schmidt. In 2004, we lost him. He played the beautiful violin, viola, and cello on Imagine Me, and actually not. He was a great local musician and a wonderful string player, and we lost him in 2004. Moving up to 2012, I'll never sing in on our album, our very dear friend, Eric Lowen, we shared the stage with him a whole bunch. We lost him. We were very, very, very honored to be a part of their farewell show, the Lowen and Navarro show, on this very stage. And uh, very proud to call him our friend because we saw him battle uh, from the very beginning of his diagnosis of ALS in the studio over at Q Recordings when he just got the news and we were there recording with him. He told us, and, but he did not take it sitting down. He became a fierce advocate uh, for the ALS cause. And uh, we miss him dearly. That same year, no stranger to this stage, and probably the most iconic figure that Birchmere has ever seen, a gentleman by the name of Mike Aldridge also passed away. Mike Aldridge uh, from the seldom scene. When you see that resonator guitar on the wall of the Birchmere, that's not Jerry Douglas or anyone. That's Mike Aldridge's dobro. He, it, the Birchmere and, and Mike Aldridge are pretty much synonymous. And because of Billy Wolf, we got Mike Aldridge's services on our early albums. Plays that great dobro solo on uh, North Pacific Rain. And on the album after that, did some great pedal steel work. And last, this one really hurts. Mr. John Jennings. We just lost him this last year. Yeah. John, John's DNA is all over the Eddie, Eddie from Ohio map. He played on a lot of our CDs. He produced Robbie's, one of Robbie's solo CDs. And was also, took, also took part along with John Carroll in our last live album and played on the whole thing. And I want to send this next song out, which was requested in his memory, because he plays the most exquisite guitar part on it. We miss him dearly, and we thank him for what he's contributed to the music world, and particularly in the D.C. area. And with that, I'm going to be quiet, and maybe you can think of all those people as we play this next song. <laughs> There's a tunnel You can sail by train From the English coast There's an ocean With no tunnel You can sail by mail But go parcel post There's nothing but the waves, the fish and the kill in between her and him. They entertain the thought of them meeting halfway, but neither knows how to swim. 
He has a pump and she has a pail He'll empty this quarry soon Stand on a rock and see each other way But for now that'll have to do Till the Atlantic's dry There's a lighthouse There's an outhouse Both rely on a torch Just different bulbs He sends flowers It takes hours just to lie on her porch The quite different poems There's nothing but the waves of fish and the kelp In between her and him They had to take the thought about meeting that way But neither knows how to swim He has a pump, she has a pail They'll live in this quarter soon Stim on a rock and see each other way But now that'll have to do Till the Atlantic's dry Bridge the distance Drain the ocean Pave a highway across the sandy floor Part the water Just a thought A reunion Near Bermuda They're too tired to hug They just stand and gleam Dehydrated Kelp in between her and him. They entertain the thought about meeting halfway, but neither knows how to swim. He has a pump, she has a bell. They'll empty this quarry soon. Stand on a rock and see each other wave, and for now that'll have to do. Till the FS drop to Greyhound rays, for now that'll have to do. Till Mother Earth moves and shifts someplace For now that'll have to do Till the crown reclaims the United States For now that'll have to do Till St. Peter opens up heaven's gates For now that'll have to do Till the Atlantic's dry On the right, they sit in their living room, stare at the fire, sparks up the flue, escape to the night, bedtime soon. And sure, there's plenty to talk about. But there ain't much to say God's on the mental peace And what's he gotta do with all of this Anyway, yeah, the silence here is written It's the holiest you've ever seen These two just bookends To the spaces in between
They say they can talk about anything in life so many others they know. Three out of five end in divorce, a matter of course they read it was so. They read it was so. She turns down the bed Coming dear, they lie in the dark Listening to whispering ghosts In the downstairs room hey! And sure there's plenty to talk about But there ain't much to say God's on the mental piece and what's he got to do with all of this anyway? And the silence here is written. It's the holiest you've ever seen. These two just bookends to the spaces in between. She on the left, she on the left. he on the right. He on the right. Sparks skip to the night. These days, she, she on the left, he on the right. He on the right. Sparks up the blue. Sparks up the blue. Skip to the night. These days. Jake Armerding on the fiddle. Destitute father of Jude. While Jake is raising money for diapers, so am I. My own. I just turned 50 last week. What day? It doesn't matter. I turned 50. All of January is my birthday. So tonight is my birthday. What do you want to get for me? Buy my album! <laughs> it's there in the gift shop. Thousands and thousands of copies awaiting your purchase. And, uh, and it is my diaper fund so, for years to come. Yay! Uh, Yay you! <laughs> but uh, I'm a little slow on the uptake. It took me till about last month or so when doing promotion for this show and also for my release last week, the CD. 
<laughs> Lots of releases happen at this age, but this was a CD, and... It kind of depends. <laughs> oh. Oh. Buy my CD before his, please. He'll be around a long time. He's only like 22. Okay. Um, but uh, at this age, I forgot what I was going to say. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, no, no slow on the uptake. It's, uh, so we've been at this for 25 years. I just turned 50. Carry the zero. I've been doing this half my life. I've been doing this half my life, and I couldn't be happier to say that. Very proud. I recommend you do the same. Young man, how old are you? You're seven. Have you spent three and a half years in a band? You really should think about it. <laughs> think about it. If you haven't, start. I'll catch up with you when you're 14. I want to hear it seven years in a band. This is off of that solo CD. Anyone out there speak Welsh? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> but everyone's going to be fluent in Welsh by the end of the song. This is a song about the world's longest town name in Northern Wales. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. There they are, my marketing plant. Wow. <laughs> Indiscreetly. They got it on one piece of paper. It's 56 characters long, and we, got, we have to pay attention. So they haven't been in a band. They've just been making that banner They've for half their band. lives. Yeah. You know, wow. just like the cheerleading squad, they decide to alternate uh, colors, and they didn't realize that yellow wow. won't show up. But believe me, there's... Um, and you know, Mrs. Young, can we, come, can we borrow some acrylic paint because we're making a banner for the pep rally? <laughs> Don't use yellow. No, that's awesome. Do I get to keep that? I will sign it. <laughs> Very large. Thank you. How about that, everybody? So you're going to help the rest of the crowd out with the pronunciation of this town name. There's a whole tutorial section in the middle. It's about 25 minutes long, so smoke them if you got it. And that should take us right up to our encore. Oh, how presumptuous of me. <laughs> One, two, we know what to do. That's very cool. We're on a wheels road in my big old Ford. There was a broken lorry on the side. The driver ran me down and said, How would it sound if you hopped and then I gave him a ride? I said, I don't know what you're carrying, but I ain't no good Samaritan. And sorry, but I gotta fly. Well, there's no special reason, but I catch you the breeze, and I'm a gonna tell you briefly why. I'm going back to Hanville, Hoffingale. I'm going to shoot with the book. I have to see you go, go, go. I'm going back to Hanville, Hoffingale. I'm going to shoot with the book. I have to see you go, go, go. I got to give us here to Hanville, Hoffingale. I'm going to shoot with the book. I have to see you go, go, go. I'll say a huff and I'll go to swoosh in my boat and that's a sea He said that that town sounds nice cause he just said it thrice So you can't be in that big a hurry Please don't ditch my ass out chipping for the gas There's no need for you to worry And just so you know I got to go to that very same exact location I said sorry there chief but I'll tell you in brief I'm running late for my destination I'm running late for Hanbeal, Hoffman, Gale, go go to shoe window, I had to see a go go go. I'm running late for Hanbeal, Hoffman, Gale, go go to shoe window, I had to see a go go go. I gotta get myself to Hanbeal, Hoffman, Gale, go go to shoe window, and I had to see a go go go. I'll say a Hoffman, Gale, go to swoosh in my boat, and I had to see a ho ho ho. Take it, Jake. down. Literally translates to the Church of St. Mary near the hollow of white hazel near the rapid swirling whirlpool of the Church of St. Decilio of the Red Cave. Got it? Make a banner for that, would you? Thank you. Write it on the back. It'd be great. It's like a big fortune cookie. All right, you're going to learn how to pronounce it in just six easy steps. Follow the bouncing balls up here. Known as Robbie and Julie. Hanvale. Hanvale. Hoffengale. Hoffengale. Hogorush. Hogorush. Windrobov. Windrobov. Hantasilio. Hantasilio. Go, go, go. Well, the very next day I heard a voice say, Hey, man, thanks for helping me out. You said.
said time was tight, so I walked through the night. Now here you are, just lounging about. Would it have been so wrong to let me take a long? We were going to the very same place. You kept repeating the town. Hey, I was born in your clown. Now I'm gonna punch you in the face. Whoa! <laughs> I see. Welcome back to Houndville, Hoffman Gill, Go Go Rusho in the book, I let us see a Go Go Go. So good to see you back at Houndville, Hoffman Gill, Go Go Rusho in the book, I let us see a Go Go Go. Well, I'm frail, let's be fair, don't be a douche, I didn't know I would leave you, no, no, no. It's fun to modulate, but I'm there, hoping you go to your window, I can see a go, go, go. You gotta get just here to hound me, hoping you go to your window, I can see a go, go, go. Well, I say, hoping there, I'll go to Sush in my boat, and I say, see ya. What do you want to be a mama mia, papa pia, baby has the diarrhea. It's where I'm gonna go, go, go. Thank you. Michael Clem and his new CD, 50 Clementines. Check it out. Not a dry seat in the house. <laughs> so uh, one of the nice things about uh, this weekend, without, um, uh, without any openers you know, on any of these nights, we're actually going to do two sets of music for you. And um, in order to create the two sets of music, we will take a break. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, it'd just be one set. That's right. And uh, so after this next song, we're going to take a short break. And uh, Julie has a little something Speaking to tell you about that. Speaking of CDs, yeah. you can, I, I know that if you've been here in the past, you know that we record the show. And then our good friends John and Paul burn it afterwards. And you can take it home with you. But they've really outdone themselves for the 25th anniversary with this beautiful four-color Packaging deal. This is the work of it's Kenzie. Really, really Kenzie nice. from Wisconsin. Yes. There's a picture in there of me with hair. You get it right here. He did have it at one point. Yep. Most people not much, been, but you know, nope, you most people have been sharpening in your hair for years, Robbie. Yeah. It's not a problem. <laughs> anyway, you do have to get a voucher for the CD in the store, and then you pick it up after the show. So we hope you all do that, and we'll be out obviously afterwards to sign those CDs. And we're going to end with this uh, next song that I'd like to send it out to all the folks who came every Tuesday night to Bad Habits Grill. We played there from 1991 to 1998, and I think this was the most requested song during those first five years of our existence, and uh, we lovingly played it each time. <laughs> I, I remember well when we worked this song up very early in uh, one of our first practices, maybe our first practice, we worked yeah. it up. We said, wouldn't it be cool like we could become known like as the band who does this song? <laughs> We said Be that. Be careful what you wish for, people. <laughs> we became known as the band who does this song. <laughs> and then we, we banished it from our lives for many That's years, right. only to rear its ugly head during an all-request 25th many, many anniversary. Many I'm just a bill, yes I'm only a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Hey Junction Junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Hey Junction Junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and making them run right. Milk and honey, bread and butter, peas and rice. Hey, that's nice. We cut the sand, big up the loon and go to high. Let's go up to the mountains or down to the sea. You can always say thank you or when you say please. Get Junction, up, Junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Junction, Junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and making them run right. I'm just a bill, yes I'm only a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. A noun's a special kind of word, it's any name you ever heard, I find it quite interesting. A noun's a person, place, or thing, a noun is a person.
person, place, or thing. Diddle doo, diddle doo, diddle doo. It's any place that you may go. Like the first mayor. It's any name that you may know. Like Jake Arrading. It's anything that you may show. Like Jake Arrading. Oh, they're nouns. Yeah, nouns a special kind of word. It's any name you ever heard. I find it quite interesting. A noun's a person, place, or thing. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Diddle doo, diddle doo, diddle doo. So when you're happy, hooray, or sad, aw, or frightened, yeah. or mad, rat. Or excited, wow. or glad, hey. an interjection starts a sentence right. Interjection for excitement or emotion. Hallelujah, 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 yeah. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. 3, it's a magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. Well, a Jake and a woman nine. had a little baby. 12, 15, 18. They had 21, a three 24, 27, in a family. 30. It's a magic number. 12, 15, 18. Yes, they 21, did. 24, 27, it's a magic 30. number. 5, 6, 4. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 100. Well, here I come We the people In order to form a more perfect union Establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility Provide for the common defense Promote the general welfare Secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. You ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. For the United States of America.
Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much. I hope you guys like that. I had a lot of fun putting that together. Hi. Give me some of that alley oop love stuff. In this age of modern man, I need to be transported to some ancient distant land. It's BC versus PC, it's Darwin versus God, it's Rubble versus Redford. I want a hairy bod. Let's get Mesolithic, you can pull me by my hair. Call this girl old fashioned, but I say a cave is where you'll find a loving Cromag who will hunt and gather fair. Let's get Mesolithic tonight. I've dated New Age women. They don't impress me much. There's only one advantage. They insist on going Dutch. The independent, self-reliant gals you see these days don't understand my manly scent and knuckle-dragging ways. It's PC versus PC. It's hands versus fork and knife. It's Wilma versus Jane Fonda. I need an obedient wife. Let's get Mesolithic, let me drag you by your hair Call the sky old-fashioned, but I say a cave is where You'll find submissive woman with her Stone Age Tupperware Let's get Mesolithic tonight Surely take a punch. It's PC versus PC. It's Bedrock versus Couch. It's Flintstone versus Brad Pitt. I want someone who'll slouch. Let's get Mesolithic. We'll grow out both our locks. Instead of filing jointly, we'll just gather sticks and rocks. There's Homo erectus. See the funny way he walks. Let's get Mesolithic tonight. I have no big ambitions except to haunt the beast. I poke sticks at the mastodon for a big carnivorous feast. I'm a hunter and a gatherer, and I like my woman dumb. I'll keep her my unequal to hold under my thumb. It's PC versus PC, it's big man versus wuss. Steak knife versus vegan, I'm a lion, not a wuss. Let's get Mesolithic and grow hair upon our back. Outsmart bigger predators and run when they attack. We'll hang out naked and display my privates in your rack. Let's get Mesolithic tonight. Let's get Mesolithic, it's the way it's meant to be. Why go by a condo? You can live up in a tree. There's no stress in the world, but now all the food and love are free. Let's get Mesolithic. Let's get Mesolithic. Let's get Mesolithic tonight. Just speeding European cars 
that it's too hot to play ball. So we sit and watch the summer fade. 95 degrees on the blacktop. 94 in the shade, yeah. 94 in the shade. Yes, the heat was enormous. It felt like a gorgeous blanket of Indian clay. And time drifting over us, stagnant like thunderclouds, pregnant and heavy with rain. This my town ain't what it used to be. Everything seems so much smaller than it was. This my town, they're cutting down the tree where we carved out our love. I can hear the buzz, buzz. Should have seen it coming back then. Always time for change. They sent hustling people for our bundle of cash. And they called it an even trade. And it's too hot to label. Leather and string parade at the seams and the My town ain't what it used to be, and everything just seems so much smaller than it was. But this is my town, they're cutting down the tree where we carved out our love. I can hear the buzz, buzz, but no, I can hear just what it was. Oh, yeah. I hear it's cool on Mars There used to be a dirt path behind our house Now just speeding European cars Thank you so much, and welcome back. How about a hand for our, our friend Eddie Hartness back there? Thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. Um, this, is a, this is a very old song. It's actually off of our, um, our very first album. And... Uh, one of you bought it. <laughs> recorded entirely at the old Birchmere. That's true, it was. It was recorded all at the old Birchmere, yeah. <laughs> uh, in one day, and the second album took even longer. <laughs> I think I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
yeah, was, this is really a, a pleasure to, to revisit the song, and, and it, it seems um, every bit, if not more so, uh, prescient now than, than, than it was when I wrote it. And uh, I was thinking uh, recently, it made me think about this experience I had at my house a couple of months back where my wife and I, uh, well, we, we like to watch the PBS news. We're a little crazy that way, and um, and I was um, I was uh, you know making dinner one night, and and uh, we had the PBS news on, and um, and I'm looking over, and uh, there the news is just awful. It's it's you know s streams of Syrian refugees um, streaming into Europe, and and just just heartbreaking watching their plight and what's happening to them. And, and I was seeing the, a story about, um, you know, uh, you know uh, I think an Eritrean man who was, in, who, who was in Israel and he was a refugee, but people thought he was a terrorist, so he, he, he was attacked there. And, and all I really wanted to do, I started getting pissed off. I started getting pissed off because I didn't want any part of this. What I really wanted was um, my well-lit corner cul-de-sac of the world, you know. Um, I wanted to pet my dogs and make my dinner. And I really wish this wouldn't intrude upon um, the pleasure that I was experiencing. And um, oftentimes I will turn that off, as probably many of us do. And I didn't that night, and, and I, I started to realize that the reason I wanted to walk away from it was because in each of those faces, what I was seeing was my own brokenness. And, um, and that wasn't something I really felt like <laughs> looking at. Um, and uh, I realized that it's very, very important for us to be able to look at ourselves in, uh, in, these, in, in these children, in these refugees, in various people anywhere in the world um, that are having hardship and suffering. And until we're willing to look at them, and realize that um, that we belong to each other. Um, we're always going to be sort of uh, anesthetized a little bit, both to their plight, but also to our own. And um, just then, I we had this knock on the door, and and it was this little girl. Oh, and um, it was this little girl, and and you know, I thought, well, shit, it's dinner time. Who the hell's knocking on my door? I mean, it's, it's the suburbs, for God's sakes. There's nothing sacred. <laughs> and um, and, and, and I, I saw through the little window, it was actually our next door neighbor, uh, uh, their daughter, and her name's Emma. She was eight, she's eight years old, so I thought I, I probably should answer that. And um, <laughs> so I did, and uh, I opened the door, and there was Emma, and she had this empty red flyer wagon. Remember the red flyer wagons? She had one of those behind her. She said, hi, I'm just... Um, I'm collecting goods for um, victims of flooding in South Carolina. And I thought, flooding in South Carolina? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> because that had been like two weeks ago, you know? And uh, I did. I had that realization that, um, wow, how quickly I'd moved on um, from that bit of suffering. And she was collecting like toothpaste and paper towels and toilet paper and all these kinds of things. And then um, she had told her teacher about it. This was her idea. She told her teacher about it and she was going to um, bring all that stuff actually down. It turns out her teacher is originally from South Carolina. She said, how about we go on a weekend and we'll deliver this stuff ourselves. And so she was explaining how she was going to go deliver all this stuff to, um, to flood victims in South Carolina herself, except that that weekend was also her birthday, so it was really bothering her that she wasn't going to get to have a birthday party. But then also that her best friend said that she would go with her, and then they could actually celebrate her birthday then. And it really <laughs> might not be so bad, actually, to celebrate your birthday with your best friend in South Carolina. It might even be fun, maybe even an adventure. And um, would you like to donate some toothpaste? And uh, sometimes it takes me a while to learn the lessons I need to le learn in this world, but that one came pretty immediately, and that was that Emma is the answer. Um, she is. The reason she's the answer is, is um, Emma 
It didn't sit around and think, um, I'm only a little kid, there's nothing I can do. She didn't sit around and think, well, there's stuff that I can do, but it's not enough. I don't think she thought any of those things. She just decided to do something. And I realized that the antidote to my own despair about anything is always action, always. And um, anyway, playing this song reminded me of all of that, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, my, my, um, yeah. This song is not about my father, um, but my father was an immigrant to this country. So it reminds me of my father. Victor dreamt of America with excitement like politics and big time crime and shopping malls and big band halls so much in store for his immigrant mind his land devastated by war victor went searching for more in america Charlie fell in love in the city of lights, the sidewalks, the winos, the fog filled air, and ancient museums for the plight that had freed them. In 44, Charlie fought Le Grand Guerre, never forgetting his past. Charlie had returned at last. Gay Perry. And oh, the eyes of generations, the waiting arms of freedom, the distant ache of memories, the home of a foreigner. And the bones of a lifetime Ellis Island, she shined like a jewel With bright lights of promise and American pride A Frenchman's passion, the victor would ration world's about to collide, wide-eyed and puffing his chest. Victor braced himself for the best in America. Paris had never meant so much more. The artists are lady, the river said, Charlie remember, time's much more tender now all but the girl in this city remain, placing a rose by their favorite bench, where once they had promised they never would forget the summertime. of generations, the waiting arms of freedom, the distant ache of memories, the home of a foreigner, and the bones of a life.
church around the top of America. Victor Trout of America Robbie Shaver Well our official Ed Head of the Cloth is here this evening, our good friend Father Don, and he married my husband and I and baptized my second child, and just happy he's here. I'd like to send this next song out to him. Great day, great day, great That the Lord has made So let us shout it out And let us sing And praise His name Our God and King For all He brings On this great day That the Lord has made. So shout it out. Shout it out. And let us sing. And let us sing and, and praise his name. Our God and King. Our God and King. For all he brings. For all he brings. On this great day. 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 Well, I know what it's like to be scared and alone when sorrow crowds all. Love your heart When the man is round Starts tumbling down You feel like you're falling apart Just when you think There's nowhere to go Just when you think How hard can I fall Just when you think There's no hope in sight The Lord hears you crying With all of his might Great day Great day Great day So shout it out, shout it out, and let us sing, and let us sing and praise His name, our God and King, our God and King, for all He brings, for all He brings, all this great day, 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 all this great day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice. Let him rejoice. Blue sky, green grass, beauty surrounding us. We lift up our voice. So stop complaining, stop whining, stop worrying who's to blame. Believe in yourself and do what is right. Have faith in the Lord and with all of your might. Great day. Great day. Great day. Great day. Great day. Great day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. So shout it out. Shout it out. And let us sing. And let us sing and, and praise his name. Our God and King. Our God and King. For all he brings. For all he brings. On this great day. On this great day. On this on this great day, on this great day, on this great day, on this great day, 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 great day. Oh, sing out all you people and lift your voices to the Lord and rejoice and rejoice and rejoice unto the Lord and sing it out at the birth of beer, sing it out on top of the mountain, sing it out down by the river, sing it out and 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 out Shout it from the mountaintop, yes, yeah, shout his name, no one ever stop. He's God, he's King, all the glory that he brings on this great day, great day, great day, great day, great day.
Klaus. Back to the secular stuff. He's one about death. Just played it coy. Some say she's as tender as a petal. She'd act tough cause her daddy wanted a boy. Old man Brown had a girl named Daddy, the middle button and the most vain of the three. She'd take her daddy's fat leather bootstrap and whip anyone who'd call her Dorothy. The men would phone her and she would repay him. Like them where they find it safe to kiss. Like the barn on the porch or the upstairs parlor Anywhere they keep him from a father's fist Breaking hearts in Halifax County The three fun daughters of Farmer Brown Turning heads of the boys in the schoolyard Catching whistles from the men downtown No one knows that they went around The three fun daughters of Farmer Brown They didn't know that the rocks on the river Be the three sisters out and where they a farmer brown and a girl named Becca She was the youngest and most reverend of all She would take her daddy's King James Bible And go study scripture at the brethren oh, oh. The men would avoid her and she would condemn them For cussing and drinking and chasing the browns She'd see repent and join God forever The pleasure of sin's not as good as it sounds The three with nothing in common Spied a phone an abandoned rowboat Mary their sense of adventure had pushed The three young girls was on the ship afloat oh, They didn't know the strength of the river The merciless current had pulled them down And Mary was due to the weight of their dead But the three real bodies were never found some merry call the singing of the sirens Learning the sailors who to wreck and drown Some say they still hear the fighting and the flirting And the preaching of the daughters of Farmer Brown Breaking hearts in Halifax County The three fun daughters of Farmer Brown Turning heads of the boys in the schoolyard Catching whistles from the men downtown No one knows that they went wrong The three fun daughters of Farmer Brown that's my dad, Joe Murphy. Yeah, Joe! Back to us. Back to us, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Joe, they stood for you last night, and you weren't even here. I mean, that's uh, the kind of impact you've had. The only person who gets treated better at the Birchmere than we do is Joe Murphy. 
and we get treated pretty darn well. We want to thank the Birchmere. They're just wonderful people. They treat us like family, and we feel like family. And that's, a, that's everybody. That's Big John. That's Bud over here, Civil War reenactor on monitors and lights and explosives. Dave on lights. Mike helping with, you know, out with my, my amp. And your wonderful staff out there. Treat them kind as they're settling up with you guys. Love you guys. And Stuart in the record store, because he's wearing my shirt. I only made one shirt for my band, and he's wearing it. Yeah! That's marketing. Um, I was surprised that that last song got requested, but there you go. <laughs> kind of a deep track for us. I don't know. But this next song was the leading vote-getter in all the balloting until we had our internet uh, Cracker Jack research team find out that there was a little bit of voter fraud. They traced the voting source to a guy that lived in a cabin up in Montana who was just a little click happy and uh, asked for this next song about 37 times. So, Ted, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you made it. <laughs> this, is, this is for you. We're going to do it anyway. It's a popular song in my home. And it's a sad one. And Robbie will attest to this. It's been my long fantasy that the one session guy we never got, speaking of the immemorium portion of the show, that I always wanted to contribute spoken word to our album, but it's too late. Ricardo Montalban. We will now realize that fantasy. Traveling around with his moose and donkey. He's part third world with a twist of honky. Tattoo. A dashing mix. But don't get them wrong, Cassis! Tommy is the Connecticut. Tommy the Connecticut, Vancouver dwelling Mexican. Staying with his next again and writing those back checks again. Old Hudson, he protects his men, but makes him scrap those decks again. And that first mate stands next to him, Miss Tommy the Connecticut! He likes hockey and he likes soccer. He thinks real slow, but he's a really fast talker. Selena is long gone, but Selena is a stalker like Tommy the Connecticut. Got a brother Jose, another named Daryl. One was a poncho, the other more of a pair of both singing span direct of the Edmund Fitzgerald for Tommy the Connecticut. One likes Osekis, the other like Molson. One like Nader, the other Pat Polson. Both of us crush of the twins called the Olsons. Let's be Connecticut. Tommy the Connecticut, Vancouver dwelling Mexican. Staying with his Mexican and writing those bad checks again. For Igno showed his pecs to win. Now imagine if he flexed him. The Yukon becomes Texas when this Tommy the Connecticut. Tacos and he eats bacon. He's five degrees removed from actor Kevin Bacon. He's got seven sisters, but all of them are taken by Tommy the Connecticut. He's got no trouble going north of the border, but crossing to the south, he needs a court order, a foosball table. Anybody got a quarter? Ask Tommy the Connecticut! Tommy the Connecticut, Vancouver dwelling Mexican. Buys his old dog Rexogen, but a good canine rejects the sin. A fat man goes up extra trim and gets a bad complex again. He might squeeze in his Lexus and this Tommy the Connecticut. He fronts a pie feast from north of Seattle. He stuffed in the van and he drove him like cattle. Outside Toronto, they heard something rattle, so they rented a VW van again. He likes girl drinks with a garnish umbrella. He'll cut himself off when he turns green as yellow. He'll pass you the check. What a really sell fellow. That's Tommy, the Connection! Tommy, the Connection, Vancouver dwelling Mexican. The great white north, the next heaven. The Tommy, the Connection! Cute little brown Canuck singing sensation really stands out in the church congregation. He uses the heck out of U.S. immigration just because he's Canucks again. La la la. <gasps> His family up north have a north that's the truest. His family down south have skies that are bluest. They'd be a lot closer if it weren't for the U.S. Rich Corinthian leather. <laughs> Poor Tommy the Connecticut. Canada's dollars dropping real low. Hey. But it's still doing better than the old pay so. 
If Trump was as handsome as Trudeau. Then Tommy would be in heaven. Welcome to Fantasy Island. So we talked about this uh, last night. Uh, uh, further thinking, uh, like we were, uh, I, I was talking about how we were remembering some of our most memorable venues or shows. And uh, without a doubt, one of our most memorable ones has always been uh, a show that we played in Manhattan, in New York City, uh, a little less than a week after 9-11. Yeah, we never, we really didn't have any idea that that show would actually happen or anything, but we were supposed to play at a place called The Knitting Factory. And, uh, uh, you know, the subways weren't running yet, and we didn't really know how we were going to get in into Manhattan at that point, and so... But we called the club, and after a few days, they say, well, you know, our doors are open. And so, um, so we took our RV up to New Jersey. Our, the RV had no chance of getting into Manhattan at that point. We rented a van with a driver and um, loaded all our stuff into this van. And he got us into Manhattan. And I remember we were just talking about this backstage. So such a strange memory that, that, that entering New York at, at, at this time and such a weighty time, you know, and, um, and yet there we saw the cast members of The Sopranos were right on the highway next to us and waving at us. And there was something very surreal about that. <laughs> and, um, but, but there they were. And um, we, uh, we eventually made it. We made it to the club and uh, had no idea if anybody would show up, really. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, cars weren't allowed down there. Subways weren't weren't uh, working. I think we needed birth certificates to get south of Houston. We actually yeah. had to show identification, birth certificates, yeah. not just yeah, a driver's did. license. And um, after sound check, we went we went walking down to as, as close as we could get to uh, uh, Ground Zero, which I think was maybe four blocks. Yeah, or the club like was actually eight blocks from Ground Zero. We were yeah. that close. And there was as much dust. And the streets, as you're seeing right now with the fog, it's created. But seriously, it was very eerie. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a poignant thing, and 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 so there we were, and um, you know, far fewer people, of course, than we normally would have had at a show in New York showed up. But I think something like eighty or a hundred people showed up for this show um, to come together at a time when a lot of people just felt the need to come together. I guess. And uh, we did this next song that day, and, and it's really one of the most extraordinary moments in music I've ever had, which was that we, we played this song, knowing it might be meaningful, but not necessarily knowing just the full meaning of, of, of what it would be to, to the people of New York. Um, and we played this song, and afterward, nobody clapped at all. There was just silence. It was like, um, it was like a communion, is what it was like. And... Uh, uh, you're certainly welcome to clap tonight. <laughs> um, but uh, it, was, it was as moving a moment as I've ever had in the history of this band. And it's such an honor to be able to, um, to bring music into a place like that at a time like that. And uh, for me, it reminded me that music returns us to ourselves and it returns us to one another. That's what it can do at its best. And um, so anyway, we'd like to play this one for you tonight. Oh, my brother, won't you stand here beside me? We shall carry each other. And should
deep in watering eyes, crystallized blue. There's a hope, fear that kept me here. And I know fear ain't nothing new to you. Fear ain't nothing new. White on white, hospitalized. I should have been there, and now I know. And singing this song is no way to say goodbye, but it's the only way. This is the only way I know Oh, my brother, won't you Stand here beside me We shall carry each other Should your soul grow weary Or the strength leave your bones But it's the only way I know This is the only way I know Oh, my brother, won't you stand near beside me Should your soul grow weary or the strength of your bones? Oh, my brother, I will carry you. Home. People get ready There's a train coming Don't need no baggage You just get on board And all you need is faith To hear the diesel cars coming You don't need no ticket You just thank the Lord People get ready for the train to Jordan Picking up passengers from coast to coast Faith is the key, so open up the 
doors and boredom There's room for all the We had them once, we used them up too fast We will always be together Nine miles to Cooperstown, famous words come last I will love you forever And the rain crashed down on the roof Punishing our transgressions Waiting on a confession and the rain crashed down on the roof Saying, didn't you see it coming When you hit the ground running Away 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 Ten times if you told me once Better watch your mouth Some things are better left unspoken Ten signs to be a boy, we got singled out And only the side answer was unbroken And the rain crashed down on the roof Punishing our transgressions, waiting on a confession And the rain crashed down on the roof Saying, didn't you see it coming when you hit the ground around Racing for the winning But here's where 
there to find me now if home is where you are. I'll be soaking wet and grinning. And the rain crashed down on the roof, punishing that transgression, waiting on a confession. And the rain crashed down on the roof, saying, Can you see it coming when you hit the ground around? trivia questions out there. The only thing you need to know is that the best sound man in the business is Mr. Bob McNichols back there. Give it up for Bob. Everything else is moot. You guys have been a great audience tonight. Thank you so, so much. We're going to finish up with this one here. Sarah, one thousand 
Jake Arberding. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Sing countdown engines on three, two, check ignition and may God's love be with you. This is ground control to major town. Oh, oh, oh. 
And I think my spaceship knows which way to go Tom, your circuit's dead There's something wrong Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me? And I'm floating on my tin can Control the major town. Ground control the major town. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. So we we uh, we tiptoed outside the uh, the request thing just for one there. But back to the request list. I got to hand it to Julie here. She's done a great job corralling all the, the stats and figures. And we have not painted outside of the lines. And we were very really firm and fast with that December 10th deadline. I was at home for Christmas, and it was December 23rd. And my mom came into my room and said, "I got the list ready. I'm ready to log on." I said, "Mom, it's December 10th." I'm sorry. She said, this is bullshit. She said, <laughs> you know my mom. You know, she stomped right out. But I'm happy to say, Mom, someone did request a song I know you wanted, and we're going to leave you with that. Um, these guys are family. We are family up here. You guys are family. And I wrote this song for, for my son. Robbie and I have 21-year-old sons right now. Uh, with with different pro <laughs> co-producers, but um, <laughs> but when this band started, we were all single and we didn't have kids and not a care in the world. Now we have lots. It was great. Of <laughs> it was awesome. That's that's 25 years for you, but uh, this song is for all of you because you all are family and we love you.
Just a man. 